Hello everyone, Dave here to entertain with Super Mario Galaxy. Previous episode we fully completed Space Junk Galaxy, and now we're gonna do the Rolling Green Galaxy, which should take me no less than two minutes. Now let's see if that actually holds true. So the mission is called Rolling in the Clouds, and it'll introduce us to a new mechanic of Super Mario Galaxy, which is rolling on the ball. There's really... No, no fancy way of saying it, you're just rolling on a ball. So... Let's go, if Mario will land in time. Let's just jump on the ball here. Oh yeah, we gotta meet Billboard here. And he just he's just like, hey. That's pretty creepy, by the way, a talking Billboard. That's never exciting. So yeah, I wanna hold it up vertically, and... The controls can be a little wonky, and... You know, you just gotta tilt it. You know, I mean, you can see Mario right now as I just kind of dick around. Alright, so... Now the game will let you go, as soon as he's done talking. And you just gotta control it, I mean... It doesn't serve you to move too fast if you're not confident in your abilities. I mean... The missions don't get too hard, and that is... That is... That is... That follows physics. Very... That follows physics to a T right there. You know, rolling in fetal position. Like, for example, I'm not- I never play this game the way people are supposed to because, like, for example, I'm not holding the Wiimote up vertically anymore. I'm holding it horizontally so that I always have forward momentum. Now, I'm gonna do this just because I feel like being a show-off-y prick, so... Alright, let's just do it. This one you actually want to be a little careful with. So, let's just do that. If you're- you're an idiot if you think I'm actually gonna collect all of those. So... Let's just go here, and that's more or less the end of the mission. There are harder ones later, and my cocky attitude will dissipate, so if you find it annoying now, just wait till the game shows me up later. You've already seen the game show me up now anyway, so... Regardless, back to the map. At 16 stars in, we're not bad at all, and my bad! Rolling Green Galaxy is the first galaxy we fully completed. This one is not fully completed. You can tell by the s the by the crown next to the knit title of the stage. Uh, nevertheless, Battle Rock Galaxy is up next, and we're gonna have a blast here. Cause I like the whole battle, you know, aspect. I like that scheme. You know, every stage has a gimmick, and I kind of like the whole like you know, industrial, spacey, future, war, sci-fi, you know, plethora of adjectives type of thing. You, you understand the feel that I'm trying to, by the, that I'm trying to convey here. Alright, so let's just get these underside ones. I'll get that one last, because that's the last platform. Yeah, it's got nice, you know, triumphant music, and it's, it's good. It's a good place. It's a good place to be. Oh, there's this one. So, we're gonna get more into it when they start firing all their, you know, all their ballistics at us, which should happen shortly. And by shortly, I mean right about now? No. I have to get on the moving platform, don't I? It's hard to recall some things about this game. Alright. Okay, here come the ballistics. It's pretty daunting, but it's not hard to deal with at all. You just want to, you know, if you really don't feel like you're up to destroying these, th I mean, up to avoiding these things, you can throw a star, a star bit, and that'll just, you know, explode on impact with them. So, I guess this is, like, this is... Like, to me, this is what auto-scrolling is for a 3D game. You know, when you're just on a platform that's moving and there's no way to continue or do anything else without it. Alright. Oh, that gave me some star bits. You know, I should be racking up star bits because I can't even feed the first Hungry Luma and I already got the second one waiting. I don't know, but there's a star bit grinding spot much later on that you'll be able to... You know, in, you'll be able to basically grind for your heart to your heart's content. Alright. Okay, let's do this. Okay, that didn't work out as well as I wished it would. Can I get off the thing now? Okay. 
I'm really glad it decided to stop there. Alright, do you have a coin? Okay, good. I needed a coin. And I'll take a coin from you too, so that I'm not, you know, philandering about here. Okay, Bullet Bill. I'm gonna try to make it this quick so they don't, you know, make themselves a nuisance. And he made himself a nuisance by running into something I really didn't need him to run into. Come here, boy. Alright. So, just gotta wait. He better not run into that Goomba. Come on, man. Alright, and so, it's not hard to get bullets to follow you. If you did Mega Leg, you can do anything else that involves bullets following you, so... It's not a problem at all. After Battle Rock Barrage, we have Breaking Into the Battle Rock. So... We're actually gonna break into this, and you'll find that it's actually some sort of military fortress of... Some unknown origin, probably belonging to Bowser or something. Although I don't know what he needs this for, you know. You'll, you'll find out when we see what his engineers are capable of in the... In the episode, we actually do the first Bowser level, so... Regardless, get a bomb, throw him over here, make him break stuff, because that's what the bombs were meant to do. And we got a planet of rolling chain chomps. Well, I can't really call them chain chomps, they're off the chain. These chomps are off the chain, y'all. Alright. So, pick up a bomb. And we'll throw it. Or we'll just, you know, kamikaze into Chain Chomp. That works as well. But no, what we want to do is throw it so not there. We want to throw it so we can start killing Chain Chomps. And I gotta stop calling him that. Alright. So, you know, Mario 101, invincibility lets you destroy things. Gee, who would have thought? You can kill them all. I'm doing this because I feel straight up genocidal. However, there is a purpose to it. You want to collect star bits, and I think you only need 20. Alright. To feed this guy. Which means it would be a secret star. So, please tell me you want 20. Okay, fuck you. Okay, I don't know what kind of retard spends a minute running around a planet that's no less than the size of the first boss and couldn't find the bombs. In fact... Well, what do you know? I actually have enough. So, come over here, you little fat bastard. Come on. Eat! Alright. So we have that guy transformed. And so we can get a hidden star, which is a major pain in the ass. I hate this star because, I mean, there's a worse one later on. Because it's all precision. It's like, it doesn't require any skill, just like a very logistic way of doing things. Alright, so this is the ammo depot, and this guy is mad, so he just wants us to blow up his trash. Because he's too lazy to do it himself. Alright, so the key here is that you just want to throw it on the little coin spots. If you don't know what a coin spot is, it's just a little uh, yellow bit. And I kind of had to make up for not throwing it on one of those. Okay, that should cover those other two. Alright, so throw this on that one. That may not be enough. Okay. Alright. And the important thing you want to do is to chain explosions. Like... Oh, okay. So now let's do it the right way. So, let's do it. Okay. So, literally, you want to take one, and I think I already screwed up the timing, because... Uh, y you know what? F it. Okay. I don't think I threw that in the right area. Okay. We'll find out. 
that is a good spot for that guy. Oh, yeah, what do you know? I'm doing this right. Okay, I think I did this. Just in case. Alright. Okay, so it's not that bad. And no, kids, I don't recommend you clean the bathroom with bombs. Just saying. So let's grab the star and get on our way. Get on our merry little way out of here. So... Now what we're gonna do is what we were doing initially. We free this Luma, he'll turn into a launch star, and we'll be able to go to new places beyond the beyond. And I totally missed the spin there. Alrighty. So, pull stars will take us where we need to be. And I'm not even gonna worry about the extra life shroom because we'll just go launch it up. I don't even know, think there's a boss here, so there's really no need for that life stream. And most bosses don't even warrant a life stream anyway. All right, come on. How do we do this? Okay, there we go. Wait, that didn't even need to be... This game has so much useless stuff. All right. So now we have crystals. I think you can get both at the same time if you're good. Hopefully I'm good enough. Anyway. It's mostly explosions that have better the theme in Battle Rock Galaxy. So, let's go into this cannon. Let's do it. And I missed it, of course. So now I gotta break this one. And that will open up the way for the next one. So we can actually do this shit and get on. Out of here. Let's do it. Alright, I'm probably going to miss again. Good. The power of... I don't even know what the power was. I thought that was a star. It wasn't even a star. Lovely cinematics going on there. The thing about those cinematics is that they're more awesome because they happen during the gameplay. Instead of as very just long cutscenes that take place miles before the tutorial, and then the tutorial consists of primarily cutscenes itself. Alright. So, break this. Lovely intro to cannons we have here. Alright. And... That's not hard at all, you just need to wait for the opportune moment. And there we have breaking into the battle rock. All right, now we have Top Maniac and the Topman Tribe. These are a breed of creatures that seem to have mysteriously appeared in this game. I mean, Mario Galaxy has a better license than any other Mario game to introduce new species considering this takes place in an entirely different universe. Well, I mean, okay, that's a little bit of a stretch, but and, you know, an entirely different galaxy at the very least. And I love this just because they brought back Rocky Wrench. And I forgot, you gotta hit his stuff back at him. Oh wait, no, yeah, it's that. Okay. <laughs> I thought you had to hit his stuff back at him, but that's good. I'm glad I didn't find that out the hard way. Alright. And I'm willing to wager I don't need that launch star at all. Okay, maybe I do. <laughs> Alright, Luigi wouldn't, but I can't be Luigi today. Alright, so let's just go. Oh, come on! Okay, the gravity is annoying. Alright, let's launch it. And this, I will say, it's probably obvious, but this is the boss stage. You know, it's called Top Maniac. Okay, good. I, I literally did that instinctively. Because I was like, okay, how do I release this guy? Asked and answered. So we're gonna end up now. Or this stuff. Alright. Get out of my hole. Oh, wait. 
Wait, what needs to be done? Launch star? Oh, pipe. Gravity. I didn't think the first gravity puzzles appeared for a little bit longer, but okay. I don't know as much as I thought I did. Okay, please tell me. Ah, oh, That is just... Okay, come on. I know this is unnecessarily... Okay, good. So, I still have my instincts that I thought I did. I knew there was a way out of there. Not that it mattered, because... Pancake. Okay, let's do this properly. And... You know, I'd be delighted to get a sentence out before, you know, the bullshit happens, but <laughs> I guess that won't happen. Alright. So, let's just keep going. Alrighty, not bad at all. Well, you know, aside from the two consecutive crushings that happened in the same spot. Triple jump over you. Oh, that would've been cool if I landed on him. That would've been stylish. Alright. Now we have this weird elevator. That I don't remember at all. <laughs> in, my, in my initial run. Alright. Okay, so like the Luma, like the trap Luma, you want to knock these guys into the into the electricity. In the electric fence. And gravity decides to do that. And we're gonna blow more stuff up. Because you know, Mario is an intergalactic terrorist now, it seems. Now this, I believe, is the same UFO that appeared in the in the introduction. I'm not positive on that, do not quote me. And what is that erratic shadow doing? Top Man, or I guess I should say Top Maniac, is really easy to destroy. You just need to outdouse his lights and then just, you know, knock him up. His little minions are a pain in the ass, but uh, just don't worry about them. They're not that much of a problem. He practically runs into the electric fence himself for you. I don't know what burned me right there. I can understand cutting me or hitting me, but I don't know. Nevertheless, <laughs> it's funny, the Luma was still on Mario's head. So that is Top Maniac, sec third boss. Okay, I was gonna do this Unknown Galaxy, but it seems we have a Daredevil Comet that I would like to knock out. So let's do that. Alrighty. Alright. Come on. Top Maniac's Daredevil- Okay, the White Comets are Daredevil Comets. Alright. Now, the cool thing about the Daredevil run is that they basically throw you where they want you. Like, if it's a boss, which it usually is more than half the time, they'll just throw you where the boss is. In fact, I only, I only got hit once, and it was a way I didn't even think I would get hit, so... That just goes to show that this should not be a challenge at all. So, hello Top Maniac, prepare to die. I mean, it looks very angry. For, for an alien that's, you know, kind of set his plans of world domination in motion already. I mean, you know, it's, he's probably just angry to see Mario. That's more or less what it, the only thing I think it could be. But, I mean, who wouldn't be afraid, you know, if you can get bested that easily by a human plumber from a very primitive species in comparison to the level of technology that you have with your electric fences and your UFOs and everything like that. Okay, now we can explore the new galaxy before the Bowser level. And this is Hurry Scurry. It'll be done in two seconds. And I need to lose the cockiness, don't I? I realize I'm more cocky than I should be about most of these missions. Oh well. This is called Shrinking Satellite. And what you need to do is just... These platforms, they, they disappear when you touch them. So you just want to make sure you cover as little ground as possible. So let's do that. 
these toads are scared for whatever reason. And let's see. Oh, this is the one where you have to collect all the music notes. Okay, that works out. As soon as you collect all of them, you will be golden. Okay. And I'm totally doing things I'm not supposed to be doing. Okay. This just goes to show that I don't know everything. But, okay, that one's going to be a pain in the ass later. <laughs> there was one I left, like, in the middle of a bunch of disappeared platforms. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that was good. Alright, and I feel really bad for any of you who die trying to get this one. It's kind of weird. A black hole turning into a star when it should be the other way around. Anyway, with this star, which I think is the 22nd star, all we have left to do is the Bowser world, so... And it's, this is actually going to be the first Bowser level that we complete, so... I look forward to doing that. I believe it's this one. Let's find out what it's called before I wrap it up. Bowser's Star Reactor. So in the next episode, we will start our first Bowser level. Look forward to it. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. This is Dave. Peace and out.